Hey guys, this is Chris from AndroPit.com. We are here at IFA 2015 with the Huawei Mate S, which has just been announced. Uh, so you can see up front, we've got pretty similar design to other Huawei devices that you would know. Obviously, very nicely put together device. Uh, we've got a 5.5 inch full HD display up front. Uh, we've obviously also got uh, a front facing LED flash up here for the ultimate selfies. So Huawei obviously big fans of the selfies and again we've now got a front facing flash for all you selfie fanatics. Uh, you can see the design is really really nice, it's a very well put together uh, metal unibody. Uh, we've also got a curved back on the Mate S so it fits nicely in the hand. Now for a 5.5 inch phone it's actually quite small, the uh, bezels are very small, it's significantly smaller than an iPhone 6 Plus for example which is also 5.5 inches. On the side you can see the chamfered edges here as well as the 2.5D display, slightly rolled over on the front there. Now we've got a SIM, SIM card slot there, of course we've got our speakers down the bottom, all looking very nicely machined. And of course on the other side we have our power button and volume rocker. Now the Mate S is expandable with micro SD up to 128 gigabytes but there's also a 32 gig, 64 gig and 128 gigabyte version uh, of the Mate S. However the biggest feature of course is force touch. Now only the 128 gigabyte version is going to come with force touch so you're going to have to fork out quite a lot. They haven't actually told us the pricing for 128 gigabytes but Force touch is pretty impressive. So, for example, let's take a quick look at. Why are we not working? Here? Let's take a look at the gallery. So you can use force touch to zoom in, zoom around, and then zoom right in on details. It's a pretty nifty feature. Uh, you've also got automatically hiding navigation buttons. So you can force touch to go back. You can force touch all if your navigation uh, buttons are off screen. So you can hide them or bring them back with the traditional gesture, but even if they're not on screen, you can use force touch to navigate. It's pretty cool. So if we take a look at the interface, it's the EMUI 3.1. It's running Android 5.1.1 for now. Uh, if you're familiar with Huawei phones, you'd be pretty familiar with the setup here as well. Obviously a very different look to stock Android. Uh, if we take a look in at the settings menu, we've got quite a lot of options in here. Of course, we've got our fingerprint ID on the back, uh, which you can also use to swipe down to bring up the notifications. So, and in the camera uh, or the gallery, you can swipe uh, in between images as well. It's pretty nifty and quite intuitive, kind of cool. Uh, of course, you can register a bunch of fingerprints. We've also got uh, options for motion controls. So this new knuckle gesture, you can draw basically off-screen gestures to launch apps. It's a little weird to use your knuckle, but I guess you get used to it. Uh, of course, we've also got a whole bunch of force touch options as well. So you can set the pressure sensitivity to suit your personal preferences. It's pretty cool and it's going to take off big time. So. On the camera front, we've got a 13 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel up front with an LED flash up front. The camera is basically DSLR quality. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of manual modes as well. Let's take a look here. So we've got our pro camera right here with, I'll get my hand out of the way. So you can basically set up your selfie camera to take excellent front facing photos but you can also take near professional quality with the main camera as well. It's really pretty cool. We haven't had a chance to test it out but we'll bring you more in the full review of course. Taking a look at some of the other options in the camera, we've also got a rather cool uh, document readjustment. We've probably seen this before as well. We'll just jump down here, take a photo on a rather bad angle and the camera software will do a little bit of automatic adjustment. So you can see the results right there. Pretty impressive indeed, straightens it up and it's not even blurred. So we're pretty impressed with what we've seen so far, obviously we'll bring you more on the Mate S and of course the all the true potential of Force Touch, it's only the beginning as Huawei informed us, we'll bring you more from IFA 2015 and on the Mate S in the near future.